Jeans, jeans, everywhere you look you see jeans. If blue jeans were an illness, you might say that America has been dealing with the epidemic for decades. But how are we to conceive of a fad so firmly entrenched in our postmodern culture? The answers are ahead. This is Sit on My Face, the Jeaning of America. Darling, come here, fuck me up the air. Greetings. I'm Dr. Colin Simatis, clinical sociologist and longtime denim connoisseur. In his article, author John Fisk sees correlations between choice of genes and implied social status. He discusses a culture clash, with genes indicating which side the wearer is on. He also notes the irony that individuals choose their denim to be unique and express their style, yet actually end up blending in more with each other. That said, the questions remain. Exactly what blue jeans do young adults of today prefer? How much are they willing to pay for a good pair? How do they feel about the deeper sociological questions that arise from their choice? To find out, I hit the streets and randomly chose individuals that I felt best represented the image of blue jeans in the year 2007. Hey you, street urchins! I interviewed them. What am I supposed to Just do? Just and also got to go into their personal spaces to see firsthand how denim impacts their daily lives. In the end, they gave me the answers that you wanted to know. Check it out. You might just be surprised. Hi. Hi. So, what kind of jeans do you like to wear, a random girl I met off the street? Um, my name's Sally. Hi. Hi. Um, you know, whenever... You know, whatever boys like, but you know, I guess more straight legged or short skirts. Um, usually darker, but really anything. Well, I like the skinny fit. Jeans? Yes. Uh, I guess any that make my ass look good, right? Uh, anything that make my butt look good. Anything tight and dark. I like bootleg jeans, and I like uh, fitted jeans. Really? Low risers. What about really loose, like white, torn, kind of like punk rock? Yeah, not so much me. Ew, those are gross. Those are so late 90s. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess. Maybe in my grandpa's time. I usually like to wear those with my NASCAR t-shirts, yeah. Oh god, you can keep them. I don't like when they sag, you know, there's a lot of space and my butt don't feel good. No, no, no. How much would you pay for a pair of jeans? Uh, you know, in my country, where I come from, bread is very expensive. So, we, we like to uh, wear clothes from our parents. Well, I can tell you how much I spent. <laughs> how much did I spend? I have spent so far. Um, $320. How much? Maybe like $30. $200. And those are from gas. Money, I don't pay for my clothes. 50 bucks at the most. I see. What do you think of the profound connotation of your denim choice in the context of your place in the social strata of America? <laughs> I'm right here. Uh, you lost me there. What was that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What? I realize that it's very, very important that it pretty much determines my lot in life, so I plan accordingly. Well, I think they're a conformist staple. The what now? <laughs> Say that one more time. <laughs> I really don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think the jeans people wear definitely is an expression of their persona and I guess the more expensive pair, the more expensive jeans a person buys, that basically says something about how they want to portray themselves to society and to other people. So I guess a decent hot pair of jeans is pretty important. Do you like to fuck in your jeans? I can't say that I've ever fucked in my jeans, but I have gotten a, a few fucks because of the jeans that I've worn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know how else to do in the game. What is fuck? Depending on what chick it is, sure, maybe, yeah. If I want to be like in and out, then, you know. <laughs> Who doesn't? 
Why do you think I only have one pair? They keep getting ripped. Thank you very much. No problem. You need anything else? <laughs>